Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting in rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Like flying? Then check out these. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the city Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and city Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. The Ehang 184's aluminum frame and composite body carry eight 142 horsepower motors to power its eight propellers, with two situated on each of the drone's four arms. It takes between two to four hours to charge. According to the company, the user can simply get in, power up the drone, select a destination, and the device will take care of everything else. It can fly a 264-pound passenger up to an altitude of around 11,000 feet, traveling at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour for up to 23 minutes, with a maximum range of around 10 miles. Navigation and collision avoidance is taken care of by the drone's range of built-in sensors and computer systems. Once passengers arrive at their destination, the drone's rotor arms can be folded up for convenient storage. Paris gives go-ahead to flying water taxi trials. Ever wanted to take in the City of Light via a flying boat? Well, soon you might be in luck. Next year, Paris will test a prototype flying water taxi that will allow people to tour the city along the Seine River. The vessel, named Sea Bubble, can reportedly travel up to 30 kilometers per hour and can seat five people, including a driver. According to the Telegraph, the vessel's structure will be made of fiberglass and high-density foam. Sea Bubble will also reportedly have foils attached to its hull that will reduce drag and help it float around two feet above the water. Parisian authorities have allowed testing of the vessel on the Seine River next year. If successful, Parisians could soon get Sea Bubble docking stations along the banks of the Seine. The developers hope that Sea Bubble vessels could eventually be ordered through vehicle hailing apps like Uber. If successful in France, the team hopes to use sea bubble vessels in waterways in other cities, such as London, Geneva, and elsewhere. The developer hopes the cost of using sea bubble will be around 10 euros per trip if the project passes testing in Paris. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Future luxury apartments could have balconies big enough for personal flying cars. Ever wondered what life would be like when flying cars become an everyday mode of transport? Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and Indian industrial designer Ashish Tolkar hope to one day develop luxury apartments with landing pads for personal flyers. An imagined luxury apartment aims to help make personal flying vehicles become commonplace. This new kind of residential building would see vertically aligned landing pads accommodate the vehicles. 
Residents would not necessarily need to own such a vehicle, but could simply order one, much like a taxi or ride-sharing service. When detecting an inbound vehicle, the balcony could prepare for landing by lowering the rail guard automatically. Air traffic control systems would be necessary to keep the city skies orderly and safe. Although the idea is still in its infancy, Bombardier and Tolkar believe it may not be long before we see apartment buildings built to code for personal flyers.